This is the best available open source large language model and that is from Facebook, Meta AI. Yes, Llama 2 has been launched officially and no leak, no torrent. You can directly go ahead and download the model. It's quite amazing the kind of approach that Meta AI has taken in this regard. And in this video, we're going to break down entirely from the technical details of this model to everything from how do you access the model. And we're also going to go through the live playground and then see some examples to see and understand how Llama 2 performs. To begin with, Facebook AI or Meta AI has introduced Llama 2. They're calling this the next generation of our open source large language model. The biggest highlight of this entire thing is Llama 2 is completely available for free for both research and commercial use. This is a very contrasting approach. But if you had listened to the recent podcast where Mark Zuckerberg appeared on Lex Friedman podcast, you know that Mark Zuckerberg has full on gone with open source model. And this is a great approach for people who are open source enthusiasts and researchers with open AI trying to be the closed AI. Facebook is trying to be the savior of open source AI with Llama 2. And it's not just that they're releasing any model. It's not like it's 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 one of the models. It's the best model at this point, And we're going to get in the benchmarks. So just to quickly learn about Llama 2's general parameters, Llama 2 is trained on more than 40% more 40% more data than Llama 1 and it has got double the context length. That means Llama 2 supports 4096, approximately 4K tokens and it has been trained on a 2 trillion token. If you know, Llama 1 was trained around 1.2-ish, 1 1.3-ish trillion. Llama 2 is trained on 2 trillion tokens and Facebook is releasing it with 3 model sizes. 7 billion parameter, 13 billion parameter, 70 billion parameter. And if you want to know Llama 2, is it like only the base model? Thanks to Facebook, they're also releasing a fine-tuned model for chat use cases that are trained supervised fine-tune or which is also known as instruct fine-tune over 100,000 open data sets and also trained on 1 million human annotated data set. You might be surprised that we have got RLHF there. So we have got reinforcement learning from human feedback. This was one of the secret sources of chat GPT and the closed models that are available. So Llama 2, which is an open source model, which is trained on 2 trillion tokens, which has got a really good fine tuning also has got RLHF reinforcement learning from human feedback, where they employ actual humans to annotate the data set, get the response and then take the feedback back to the model to fine tune the model in reinforcement learning so that the model learns to give the best responses that human beings usually appreciate. If you do the if you see the benchmarks, Llama 2 is like very well up ahead. Like if you just compare the 7 billion parameter model, just look at the first three. MPT, Falcon, Llama 2. Everybody seems to be fa Falcon fan. And if you see the benchmarks for MMLU, Llama 2 is like way, way ahead of 7 billion parameter Falcon. If you see natural questions, Falcon has scored 18 and Llama 2 has scored 22. If you see GSM 8K, Llama 2 is like almost more than double. And most of these benchmarks you see, Llama 2 is crushing completely. This is just for 7 billion parameter model that you can, you know, simply fit in a smaller GPU. But now when you go ahead with the larger models, especially with the 70 billion, which is the biggest and the largest model, then you would still see Llama 2, you know, smashing, squashing everybody else in the list. It's more than 30 billion MPT, it's more than 70 billion Falcon. So Llama 2 is crushing in every single benchmarks that are available. If you see the technical details of this model, you can, you would understand that it is, it is used all the open data set that are available for instruction fine tuning. And it is also releasing the instruct fine tune model, which is available for the chat model in itself. So the key elements that you need to understand if you're going to use Llama model is one, it's available for, uh, for commercial and free users. They're also releasing the base Llama 2 model and they're also releasing the chat model. And the chat model is not any chat model. It is a model with RLHF reinforcement learning with human or from human feedback. So how do you access the model? All you have to do is go here, click download the model. 
and that will take you to submit this link like you have to just go here enter your first name last name email id country organization affiliation and it has like a lot of details about what you should not do what you can do with this click accept terms and services accept and download you will get to download the model in itself that also comes with certain responsibilities when you download the model there are certain things that you are going to get one is the model code the model weights the read b the responsible use guide the license acceptable use policy and the model card so all these things come with the model in itself and like i said before you get two model you have like two models that are available for you llama 2 the base model and also the fine tuned llama 2 chat which is also available for free use that you can use free and commercial purposes so now let's go see live how the model how does it fare so you have uh, the playground that has been supported by andreessen horowitz which is quite surprising to be honest like i was quite surprising to see a16z hosting a meta ai model that also also not entirely surprising i guess like if you go to the partnerships and you see a lot of logos you see um, you see atlassian you see so geo orange define what i was surprised to see is i was quite surprised to see microsoft here once again anywhere there is ai mentioned on the internet it seems like microsoft seems to have their presence there microsoft has invested in open ai microsoft has invested in open ai's competitor microsoft is releasing its own large language model and microsoft seems to have i don't know in what capacity by giving azure or i don't know what capacity but microsoft is also being listed as one of the partners of llama 2 and um, honestly i'm surprised but it seems like microsoft is going full on to bet anywhere that wherever ai research is happening and uh, that might be a good thing for microsoft as a company in itself so yeah good 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 luck satya so you guys are doing amazing so if you go ahead with the model in itself llama2.ai you get to select the 13 billion parameter model or the 7 billion parameter model interestingly you can see how much time it takes so every prediction runs on nvia nvidia if you run this on nvidia a100 which is a 40 gb gpu hardware predictions typically complete within 15 seconds that's what replicate says so if we go ahead and then you know ask the cliched question that we usually ask write a joke about elon musk here is one for you why did elon go to the bar to charge his batteries and have a masterpiece it's strange okay let's change the context here you are a helpful but also funny and sarcastic assistant try to answer every question like an indian auntie okay so this is the context that we are giving okay now we are going to ask a question we are going to say hey um i just scored 100 out of 100 in my exams what do you think so typically you know it's um it's a thing to say that we usually indians um are not very satisfied even if you get 100 marks so this is like a typical thing that 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 is like a running joke uh, about like people in my country so let's let's see what llama 2 says and uh, if llama 2 can actually make like a sarcastic comment about whatever we have just asked so the temperature is set at 0.10 oh it says oh no you must be genius or beta so it says beta beta in english sorry in um, beta in indian language hindi means um child or you know son son i think son is like my hindi is quite bad or maybe you just studied really hard and ate a lot of chai and samosas either way i'm proud of you oh it's actually proud of me so that's that's not necessarily the right one okay so we're going to change the context again you are a helpful assistant and if you do not know the answer please say i don't know and um, let's go ahead and ask a programming question i'm going to just simply ask a question i want to fine tune llama models how do i do it in python send this message i just said i want to fine tune llama models you also get to change the context length to 4000 tokens which is something that i'm not going to do it now but you can actually do it this is like a free interface where you can go play with the model i'm not sure how long this free interface is going to stay but given that it is being backed by andreessen horowitz a16z 
I guess it might stay for a quite long time because um, now that we have clawed playground for us to play with the model and um, another good thing here is that most of the free playgrounds like chat GPT or Claude does not let you play with the model parameters. I think this is very important uh, for us to for us to do um, if especially if you're somebody who is looking at Llama not from a personal use perspective but also you know from a developer perspective playing with these parameters can give a lot of variety of answers and I appreciate open AI, I appreciate meta AI for being open about giving us these parameters to play with as well. So it didn't it didn't actually answer about uh, Llama because you know I expected not to low about Llama so that's a good thing here. So this is the interface. If you want to have the chatbot demo code, you can click here and actually get the chatbot demo code. So the code is available. The Docker file is available and they've also given you how you can start using it if you've got uh, the GPU available itself for you. And um, yeah, so this is another amazing thing where, uh, you know, the entire code is available for you to use. And if you want the cock template, you can go here and click and then get the cock template as well. So this is for you to like, if you want to, use it for a uh, this is the this is the first one i guess what is this why does it say llama is for a search purpose only it's not intended for commercial use i think this is talking about the first version um if you want to run it but anyways uh, so the second version has got all the details in itself this um, if you want to use so overall i i, I really appreciate the fact that uh, you know it's very straightforward for you to download the model it's available for um, free and uh, commercial use. It's it's ranging from 7 billion to 70 billion parameter model. And also um, I'm happy that some company has decided to spend a lot of money in doing RLHF and then release the model as open source. I mean, having um, having a strong open community uh, on my YouTube channel, I, I, I know how much of my audience appreciate open source models. So I'm quite happy to see that Meta AI is trying to be the poster boy of open source AI here. And uh, I am really looking forward to see how we can run this code on Google Collab, the free Google Collab, and also the fine tuning aspect. Let me know in the comment section after playing around with this model, what do you feel about it? I didn't get time to play around with this model a lot, but uh, that is definitely my next video um, about exploring Llama 2. In fact, like trying to compare Llama 2 and ChatGPT responses to see how does this fare with respect to the Holy Grail GPT-4, the king of all open AI king of all closed AI to be honest. See you in another video. All the links will be in the YouTube description. Happy prompting.